Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. If you don't know who I'm already, my name is Nick Barton. I cover the Toronto Marlies for the Leafs Nation, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Keith Petruzzelli and whether or not he might get a contract with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Before we do get into it though, if you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoy it, subscribe. It helps a lot in terms of me making content. And let's try and set a goal for 60 likes on this video. Let's try and hit 60 likes for Keith Petruzzelli and whether or not he might get a contract with the Maple Leafs this season or in the summer. To start off though, a little bit of background, Petruzzelli was drafted in the third round of the 2017 NHL Draft by the Detroit Red Rings. Nothing worked out between them, they couldn't find a contract, so he became a free agent. He spent the last four seasons at Quinnipiac University. The last two are where I'm going to look at his numbers though. He played over 60 games in his last two seasons at Quinnipiac University, and through those 60 games he finished off with a 923 save percentage and has now found himself on a two-year deal with the Toronto Marlies and he spent some time with the Newfoundland Growlers as well. In 22 games played this season with the Growlers in the ECHL, Petruzzelli has a 924 save percentage and he's now up with the Marlies because of a Joseph Wool injury and Eric Schalgren also getting the chance to be up with the Maple Leafs. In the four games he's played in the AHL, Petruzzelli has a 907 save percentage, but that save percentage has drastically dropped since the last game he played because he allowed four goals on eight shots against the Bridgeport Islanders. Prior to that game against the Bridgeport Islanders, Petruzzelli had a 940 save percentage and it looked like his trend was continuing to become a better and better and better goaltender in the AHL. Now that last game wasn't bad, it's gonna happen. There's gonna be games where goaltenders aren't gonna save every shot or just have a rough outing and that's what happened and it just sucks because that game throws a wrench into his save percentage and people might look at his save percentage and think 907 in the AHL that's not really the best when in reality he had a 940 again before this game. Now you might be saying to yourself right now Nick you've you've told us the numbers but what about what you've seen from him? Well he's a six foot five goaltender he's very big that's the first thing you notice about him is how tall he is. He is a monster. He's very good at complementing that size with the positioning that he has in games. He's able to be in the right spots at most times and when that happens he's easily making the save. He's not rushing around to try and create a highlight reel save like some goalies that we've seen in the past. And he's always positioned very well, always square to the puck, and the puck just seems to hit him and he makes the save. And that's usually how it is. And with the big size though, there are times where he's had to use his athleticism and it's worked. There were two big saves that he's had with the Marlies so far. One was a nice glove save. Another one where he used that, his athleticism where he pushed off on his right leg and somehow got across to make the left pad save. That was probably one of the best saves of the year on the Toronto Marlies, just in general of all the goaltenders. But it shows that his height is there and with that, he's able to be positioned, but when he's not in position, he's still able to sprawl out and use his big frame to make a difficult save that we might not see from another goaltender. But the main aspect is his size and again, his positioning. He's very square, he's able to make saves without moving too much, and that's the good thing, is if he's able to have that size and able to be able to make those saves, then it, it's, it makes it easier on him and he's not always rushing around to go this way, go that way, when he's always going to be square to the puck. And, and then when that happens, in turn, it makes his save percentage look a lot better, it makes him look a lot better. And then when he makes a highlight reel save too, you think, wow, he actually has that in his arsenal too. He makes for a very good goaltender and a very interesting one for the Maple Leafs in the future, I'll say. Now that's the whole point of this video, is Keith Petruzzelli, could he be nearing his way to a contract with the Toronto Maple Leafs. We've seen it happen with Joseph Wall. We've seen it happen with Eric Schalgren, who both are under contract with the Maple Leafs. But what about Petrozelli? What about him? And I, I think there is always that possibility of him getting a contract. But this season, especially with the Toronto Marlies and his strong play there, I think it's become more likely that he does get one either before this end of the season or throughout the summer. Now, as you might know, the Leafs have three contract slots remaining, and one will likely go to Matthew Nyes if he chooses to sign with the Maple Leafs after his playoffs and in college in the US. But there remains two, and I don't know whether or not the Leafs might want to use one of those contract slots right now on Petruzzelli, but if he shows 
that he's still an AHL capable goaltender, which he will be because Joseph Wool is still out with an injury and Eric Schalgren is still up with the Maple Leafs. If he has that chance, he's going to use that chance. And if he can show that he's a good solid goaltender in the AHL, you'll likely get that contract sooner rather than later. And you also can't forget about his numbers in the ECHL. A 924 save percentage, it shows that he's a very capable goaltender at that level. He's shown as well, the AHL level as well, but it might be a smaller sample size, but he's still been really good for this Marlies team. And like we've seen with a guy like Eric Schalgren, who's had an up and down season in the AHL, he goes to the NHL, he plays a lot better, and he shows that he's a really solid net miner. And when you look at Petrozelli's numbers, 907 save percentage again, it could translate a lot better in the NHL, which is a faster paced game. Players don't have as much time with the puck and, and goalies seem to sometimes tend to work better when they have to be faster to make big saves or just to stay positioned in the crease. So again, the AHL numbers sometimes seem to lie, most times seem to lie, and also the fact that goalies are voodoo. We never know what's going to happen with goaltenders at the AHL level, the ECHL level, or the NHL level. So this is a very interesting opportunity for Petruzzelli to come in and, and really show with the Marlies, which he's done already, but hope to continue to do, to show that he is a good netminder and is worth an NHL contract slot with the Maple Leafs. I mean, there's always that possibility that he can go out and sign elsewhere because again, he is under an AHL deal for the this year and next year. So it's always possible that another team could come calling but when he signed a two-year AHL deal in Toronto, I think that shows where his heart's at right now and where he wants to be. And there could be, again, that other team that comes in and tries to take him, but I doubt that happens. But if I had to put money on it right now, I'm going to say that Petrozelli might not get a contract before the end of the season. I think it's always possible that he gets one throughout the summer or throughout next season. It's always possible, and I'm going to put my money on it happening more this summer than next season because I'm sure the Leafs want to get a guy like that locked up. And I'm sure they would want to see, similar to Eric Schalgren this season, where they want to look and get him a look at the NHL level. And the only way to do that is to get him signed to an NHL deal. So I'm gonna sit here and say right now, again, putting money on it, I'm not actually putting money on it, but I will say that he will be signed this summer. I, I sh hope I'm right. But I, I'm pretty sure and I think it's really likely that that will be the case. But that's where I'm going to end off today's video. I'm going to try and do a few more of these where I look at Marley's players who could have the potential to get NHL deals. I'll post those in the, in the coming future, in the coming days, in the coming weeks. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video on Keith Petruzzelli. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, subscribe. Comment down below your thoughts on the video or your thoughts on any other Leafs Marley's prospects. And yeah, let's try and hit 60 likes on the video and we'll see if that happens. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.